Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. La ilaha illallah. This is our testimonial faith. In order for us to be considered Muslim, a person must confess La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. But what is the meaning of La ilaha illallah? The meaning is very simple. There is no God worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By confessing La ilaha illallah, a person turned to Islam and he became a Muslim. He believed in the essence of La ilaha illallah and confess saying, I testify, I declare, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship but La ilaha illallah. Well, what is the meaning of La ilaha illallah, brothers and sisters? It is not only a confession, but it is about understanding the essence of La ilaha illallah. And there are many meanings of La ilaha illallah. But one of the most important meanings of La ilaha illallah, that none has any right to be worshipped, but the one who created us, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who created everything that is called creation or khalq. Who is that happened to be known as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? But another meaning of la ilaha illallah is to affirm that the purpose of life is nothing but to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are here to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can do anything in life. You can do your business. You can involve in politics. You can involve in education. You can involve in any social and cultural life but you have to understand that the purpose of those is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Limardatillahi azza wa jal. But there is another meaning of la ilaha illallah that I would like to emphasize at the moment. And that is believing that there is only superior in life. None else but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we do believe in the superiority of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it means that we do believe that every other else is similar, equal. And that's what the belief of Islam in terms of humanity. Equality in Islam is a part of our faith because we do believe that there is only one superior and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hence, therefore, every single human being is equal to one another. The Holy Quran emphasized that in Surah Al-Hujurat when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuha nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu O mankind, we created you from a male and a female. We came from the same father and mother. And we made you into different nations and tribes, different colors, different races, ethnicities. For what? To get to know one another. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, Inna akramakum Allahi atqaqum. But the best among you in the sight of Allah are the righteous people. And righteousness is defined by our faith and our ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not our skin color. It is not our economic status. It is not because you are rich or poor. It is because you have faith in Allah and you have the best akhlaq. That makes you the best humans. And that's why la ilaha illallah represent human equality as well. Socially speaking, the meaning of la ilaha illallah means that we are all same in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brothers and sisters, I just wanted to emphasize at the end that do not Make la ilaha illallah is a slogan. But at the same time, you are racist because you feel that you are better than anyone else in the, among the Muslim community simply because of your race, ethnicity, or skin color. Or the language that you speak. That's why we come together to believe in la ilaha illallah. To affirm that there is only one creator. And to affirm that there is only one purpose of life. And the purpose of life is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, Socially speaking, to affirm that every single human being is equal in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our belief in human equality is not motivated by social circumstances. We are motivated by our iman in la ilaha illallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to open our minds and our heart to Islam. So that we can understand that believing in la ilaha illallah is not only a slogan, but we must take that into action to consider every single human being is equal in our sight, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
That's what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu followed by many races, many ethnicities. Until today, Islam, alhamdulillah, is the most universal teaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.